Hey friends, how are you all doing today? I'm gonna sketch today, which is so fun for me to just take a little time and play and practice my art skills. Let's have some fun. Okay, I'm just showing you my box of Hippie Crafter soft pastels. Uh, there's a affiliate link in most of my videos now. Um, I do make a little bit of money off of that. If you buy through that link, it doesn't affect your purchase price. Or you can just skip, skip over that info in the video descriptions. So I just sketched a couple of boxes. I'm thinking birch trees. I haven't done a landscape in quite a while. So I thought I would just do two simple ones and practice a little bit with color. And then the thing that I tend to want to do is paint leaves instead of trees. So I'm going to work on the shapes of trees here. This is just a little mechanical pencil. Oh, it's in the same sketchbook as the other ones. It's a Strathmore gray paper sketchbook. Um, I can go look after we're done here and put it in the video description or ask me so I remember. I appreciate when you guys leave comments, it's so fun. Sometimes with these new pastels, I haven't used them very much. You need to like um, scribble them on a piece of paper to get them started. They have like almost a little coating on them. Oh, I sped this up about four, four times. A lot of times my time-lapse videos are at 20 times faster. This one's about four times faster. Oh, and there's one of the suns that my favorite daughter Emily made for me. So I'm telling you where the light direction, where I'm thinking the light's coming from. Sometimes I'm not sure what I want for the sky. I think what the, I work on this one more than the second one because I'm not sure if I want kind of a medium value painting, a light value painting. Um, oh, I like, I like in this video description, I've got a, a painting I call Happy Birch Day. Um, Ned on Facebook helped me with the title. I just love the title. And it's a really nice dark value painting. And it's real simple. You don't even have to worry so much about the shape of the trees. I'll link that in this video description. I think you guys might like it. Sometimes I stop the video to go um, shake some of the chalk dust into the trash can. You don't want to blow it. You don't want to breathe it in. Um, a lot of chalk pastel artists uh, paint vertically. So here I'm just thinking about, you know, contrast and value in the trees. So I grab the white. I'm going to make the one that's closest to us have more contrast. And then I end up putting a little white in those trees too. <laughs> I'm playing. That's the whole whole part of this. And I might turn one of these one or both of these into a painting. Lately I've been putting it's a little after the fact, but lately I've been putting, oh, well, I guess I'm putting some on now. A simpler spots on the birch trees. They could be aspen trees too. I've been liking that better. So I'm just thinking sort of a dark area on that third. Kind of pull your eye in with the the bigger tree light with lighter and more contrast. And sorry guys. The bigger tree in front with more contrast. And then also a sort of a darker area way in the background along that same third the third going vertically on the left hand side. So I'm just putting in big squares of leaves. I'm wanting, I think part of what I'm wanting is I want it to be brighter, but I've got that dark blue behind it. So I grab some yellow, that helps. Oh, I'm gonna go darker. Yeah, I, I remembered with this one, I was thinking, do I want more drama? Do I want darker values? One of these days I should really do a really light one. I tend to lean towards drama. So now I'm softening the clouds or whatever that might be. 
I'm really just thinking shapes and direction. So I've kind of got a sweep of lighter blue in there. I'm trying to reinforce some of the whites. You know what I should have done is got the white charcoal pencil. That might have worked a little better. Also what happens too is I've got a lot of layers of pastel on here and it stops sort of wanting to take more. So as I have it right now, I pretty much have darker corners and lighter towards the middle of the painting to help keep you in the painting. I'm just trying to brighten up some of my leaves. I think this will make more sense when you see that other uh, fall painting video I did. Happy birthday. Okay, so here I'm, I'm thinking some grasses. I'm going to put my main focal area on the third, vertical third on the left, where I'm drawing these trees. And I'm just telling myself, draw shapes. So I'm drawing kind of ovals. <laughs> you can draw squares. Oh, see there, I just kind of made it square. That almost looks like a snowman. And I've got some directional lines to remind me. So one thing I like about the Hippie Crafter Chalk Pastels is they to me, I'm not a chalk pastel expert, but with the few I have in my studio, they're harder than say the Blick brand or even the, is it Munyo, M-U-N-G-Y-O, the brand that I got off of Amazon. Um, but they're not quite as hard as a new NU pastel, which is Prismacolor. So they're not quite as dusty. I like that part. I use the hippie crafter a lot to write the word love on my canvases before I start a painting. Here I think I could have done a little bit better job with that red. I got kind of a blob, but that's okay. That's why, that's why it might be a good idea to do little sketches like this and do several of them and then do a painting. I tend to want to just jump in and start because it's fun for me to paint, which is also why I do a lot of basically animal portraits. I have quite a few animal videos on my channel here. It's getting better though. It's not like it's all lost. Just because I'm not happy with what I did doesn't mean we should stop. Just keep going. And what's nice about these little sketches, so I took 40 minutes to do these two sketches. I'm trying to keep the sketches to 30 minutes. Um, I'm trying to work faster. Oh, there I saw something I wanted to do over on the other one. <laughs> um, work faster, which can help you loosen up. And then just do more of them and you'll pick up little things you like and don't like. I think painting small and painting more often will help you progress more quickly. Okay, now I'm thinking more about directing you into the, the foreground and directing you into the painting. And I really don't paint much with chalk pastel, so I'm going to learn more too. When you switch mediums, I think you also learn more. And then the mediums can help you. You can, I don't know how to say this exactly. You'll just pick up little things like I can't really blend as well here, but I'm liking the bright colors and I think that might start showing up in my paintings more. Other mediums kind of, you kind of have to work with what they can do and they can help you with, um, with painting or with drawing or I think I already said it. I'll, I'll stop trying to explain. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll give it another shot. So I'm just thinking, okay, there's some background here because I'm going to want white birch tree trunks. I don't want those to stand out. So now I'm playing. So now I'm going with a darker sky. So I can go with darker behind the trees. Oh, I'm putting a few sky holes in. Usually your sky holes are a little bit darker than your sky. Um, and it works here. They almost might be too dark here. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, here I grabbed a black chart, uh, black charcoal pencil. Their Generals is the brand. Now here comes some more, some of the more fun part to me in the painting. I think that's fun, and then it's starting to look better. My red blob that I didn't like so much is starting to look better. I might not add pinks. I might add some oranges, but the pink was lighter, and I didn't want to add the orange because I've got the orange tree there. Putting in some more darks. So usually in the distance, vertical trees are darker. I'm not sure if I like the green. No 
Okay, guys, we're about done here. I'm liking the pretty colors. I really like the mass of tree trunks. I think I'm going to want to paint something like this soon. I've got a long list of things to paint. So thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.